Hi guys, and welcome back to another State of Decay 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make the best possible home base, or what I believe to be the best base, and how to make your community sustainable. Let's crack on. As you can see, we're playing in Mega Valley, and we've chosen the camp. There are several reasons for this. The first one is that you're close to two big communities, up here and down here, with plenty of resources available for your camp. It also comes with several built-in things, which are incredibly useful. As you can see, here's my setup. The first one is a well, as it creates water for your base, and it's free, which is incredibly useful because you essentially need hydroponics in order to become self-sustainable as they create a lot of food. As you can see, this one creates 6.9 food per day, with my total food six plus 6.9 per day, which is incredibly good. And all of my other stats, plus one, which is self-sustainable. The one thing with it though is it requires materials per day, which is why it's required to have a staging area. Although with two large slots in this base, this is quite easy to have. It covers the materials that you need for both hydroponics and essentially makes the upkeep of all facilities free, which is really helpful and improves the build time. The solar array I would highly recommend gives you free electricity, no fuel, which is quite important as later, and it gives you plus five morale. Again, hydroponics, incredibly useful, creates a lot of food. Infirmary, I'd recommend upgrading to at least level two, because it heals your players, but that requires meds. So, as you can see, I've got plus three meds, which creates a plus one overall, because I have three medical outposts, which covers the cost of the meds. I have plus one ammo, because I have an ammo outpost, and then my materials, interestingly enough, the workshop gives you plus one, which with the staging area which covers it, allows you to have positive materials in your base, which as everyone knows is incredibly important for upgrading. So yeah, once you get to level two workshop, you can start creating your own materials. Fuel's the only one I'm missing, but I just need one more outpost for that, which when I upgrade my command center will be possible. But as you can see, positive on every single one of them, which is incredibly good as you know how hard it is to manage your communities in State of Decay 2. Cheerful morale, which is unbelievable. Um, and another massive advantage with this base is it comes with built-in bunk beds in each of the three outhouses, which gives you plus eight bedding, which is incredible. I mean, I've got one available, so I could upgrade my community even further and get more people, and I still wouldn't be getting drained because of the fuel, uh, because of the food that I'm creating. Another thing with the camp which is really useful, it doesn't have a watchtower, which means you're not losing ammo unnecessarily. So having an ammo outpost gives you plus ammo, which is really useful. I and mean, you can look at the list of positives this base has. I think it's an incredibly good base. I wouldn't poss personally recommend having a power substation or a water tower as a lot of other people do, as they require fuel. I think both of them require plus two, which would mean you need outposts to cover that as you can't make it in your base very easily. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'd recommend just sticking with having a solar array and a well, as it creates a free. It's just a bit unnecessary, really. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this base. The one thing I'll say about it is that it's not easily defendable, and you get, do get quite a few attacks, just because it doesn't have a tower, and the stuff inside the base makes a lot of noise. Um, I recently lost a guy, that's the only reason why I'm on 7. Uh, Again, another reason why you shouldn't be leaving your base, because the game's so dangerous. Again, it's really helpful to have a self-sustaining community, and this is how you can do it. So, look at my setup and enjoy. Set, go, take off.